Hi, and welcome to the Nissan 5767 Baba Ganoo's Slash. Syndrome X silently stalks Americans. Identified in 1988, it encompasses several health problems, including high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, and cancer. Doctors link these deadly medical conditions because they share a common characteristic. Patients afflicted with these serious illnesses often have high levels of trans fatty acids, or trans fats, in their blood. Forty years after trans fats have been in the food system on such a large scale, says Jack Chalam, author and nutritionist, it's becoming clear that this is dangerous stuff. Good fats versus bad fats. The human body needs fat for energy, protection, and vitamin absorption. But not all fats are helpful. Saturated fat, which comes from animal products, is difficult to break down. It builds up inside arteries, gradually clogging blood circulation and causing high blood pressure and heart attacks. A disastrous solution. A generation ago, Doctors recommended that Americans eat less saturated fat and more unsaturated fat found in vegetable oils. Unfortunately, vegetable oils spoil quickly, so the food industry sought alternatives to use in packaged breads, cookies, and snack foods. As a solution, manufacturers developed partial hydrogenation, a process that transforms liquid vegetable oil into solid oil, like margarine, and increases shelf life and flavor of packaged food. Ironically, hydrogenation produced a byproduct trans fats, which nutritionists now claim kills more people than the saturated fats it replaced. Harvard University researchers have found evidence that 30,000 to 100,000 coronary deaths per year could be saved by eliminating trans fats. Informing the public. The new dietary guidelines for Americans, released by health officials in 2005, urged citizens to keep trans fatty acid consumption as low as possible. On December 5, 2006, New York City ordered trans fats phased out of all restaurants. Critics of the ban, like New York Times columnist John Tierney, complain it exceeds the state's moral authority. He argues that the trans fat ban denies consumers freedom of choice, turning the Big Apple into the Big Nanny. The Jewish View Jewish law strives to create a holy community, sometimes even at the expense of personal choice. Indeed, our tradition records multiple examples of communal coercion, like bans, designed to ensure justice and well-being in society. For example, if a business produces foul odors, it's prohibited from operating within city limits. If life cycle observances become too extravagant, communal bans curb spending. Because good health is a religious obligation, the Jewish ideal of a moral economy would support the trans fat ban. Thanks for checking out this Babaga News Flash. This is Avi. Good day.